wanted to give you guys a little preface to this video. It is a very personal video about um, someone in my life and I do get emotional in it. So you, I don't know if you want to see this or not, but um, this is a place that I had to visit because of personal ties with my grandpa. He was my world. We used to do everything together, fly kites, build bird houses, take ferry rides. He'd do cartwheels down the hall at school and I'd be like, Grandpa, you can't do that. But we always had fun. Go out for ice cream, go to the bookstore. He was my best friend. Losing him was really hard, but I have a lot of great memories and um, I cherish a lot of the things he cherished. He taught me to be outdoorsy and um, be adventurous. And one of the places he really, really adored, sorry, <laughs> was the college he attended, which was Principia. And uh, he always talked about how magnificent the, blue, the views were from the bluff that it was built on and the architecture. And he used to photograph for their newspaper and all these things. And he became really close with a professor there, Jim Green, who was an artist. And he used to paint the bluffs and the Mississippi River down below them. And my grandpa ended up possessing one of those paintings because they became such good friends. And um, Jim Green went on to become one of the world's second most famous watercolorists for a period of time. Well, my grandpa cherished that painting his entire life. And when he passed, I inherited it. So long story short, I decided I wanted to go visit this college and see these things for, from my own eyes so that I could paint them and just relive those stories. <laughs> so that's this video. Well, I'm a little disappointed. I got all the way up here to Principia College and they won't even let you drive through. I knew they were doing some campus classes and so it's partially open, but they won't let me even drive through to see it, which really stinks. So it looks like I'm gonna have to come back again. <laughs> but that's all right. I'm in the little town of um, Elsa and it's a really cute town. And I got this marshmallow pie to make me feel better. And some coffee. <laughs> okay, I know my grandpa is hanging out with me now. All day I've been seeing like 333, which is my lucky number, and 1111s and all those things. But also his name keeps popping up in things, which is just random. And um, sitting here eating my marshmallow moon pie thing after I just told you guys I was bummed that I don't get to see the campus. And a woman like walks up to the window She's the head of the art department of the uh, campus, her and her husband, and they probably are gonna pull some strings so that I can go up there and see it. I'm so excited. So they have me hanging tight right now to see how we can pull this together. Look how ginormous that thing is. It's like 12 houses. Here on the Mississippi. Waiting to hear back from a professor. So Principia College is right up on that bluff right there. And the painting I have that was done by Jim Green overlooks the Mississippi right about here where the barges will come through. And I've seen a few go past already. But I really want to see it from that view up there. So I'm hoping to hear back. In the meantime, I'm checking out this little town of Griffith, I think it's called, and it's pretty cool. Obviously, this little park here is a little flooded right now. <laughs> Look at all the birds. What do you think, Lily? Lucy, what are you walking on those for? Come on, dog. <laughs> She's not all with it anymore these days, I'm pretty positive. I'm going to just enjoy some time here on the Mississippi River, which is not horrible at all. There's a park up the street. I think I might go hiking. Made a new friend, this gentleman named Clinton, and he's a very interesting individual. He actually canoed the entire Mississippi River and he's and the Missouri and he's going to paddleboard it next. And I'm thinking I need to join on this adventure and do this as well. Maybe not the paddleboard, but I would canoe it while he paddleboard maybe. <laughs> so gonna stay in touch with him for sure. And uh, if anything, find out kind of some details of how he did that so I can add that to the bucket list. Because why not? 
<laughs> so I'm in a wood shop called Naughty by Nature and it smells amazing in here. <laughs> Look at these. They've got some amazing berms and all kinds of stuff in here. Look at this guy. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, this place, he needs some, some wood. This has got that epoxy in it. It's gorgeous. So I am super excited. I am back at Principia and this time I'm not being turned away. I'm waiting for the head of the art department to come pick me up and escort me on a campus so I can go see all the places and things that my grandpa used to photograph and uh, the inspiration for the Jim Green painting that I now possess that was my grandpa's that he adored um, and part of the whole reason I'm here. Um, so after I left here, you know, rejected because of COVID and everything, um, I went into the town of Elsa, which my grandpa had talked about. It's this really old town from the 1800s and went to this little grocery store that supposedly had coffee and bought myself some candy and was, you know, trying to make myself feel better. And as I'm sitting there, you know, kind of talking with the store owner, um, he come to find out why I was in the area and uh, the head art director, or the art director's wife walks in and she hears, overhears and she's like, let me go talk to my husband. Maybe he can pull some strings and get you in. So they invite me over to their house, which is just a few doors down from where we were at. And we sit on the back patio and we kind of chit chat it up. And next thing I know, he's like, let me write an email and see if I can get you in there. And uh, just amazing. And my grandpa used to shoot for their, um, the campus magazine and everything. And this guy, the art director now, actually studied under Jim Green, the, the gentleman whose painting I have, and that was inspired by the bluffs here that I get to go see. So, I don't know, maybe it's not a big deal to everybody else, but I'm pretty stoked that this is actually going to happen. I drove across two states to come see this. So, the fact that um, this gentleman, Duncan Martin, made this happen. I love you. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. And he's a phenomenal artist. I'm going to put his links down below um, this video just so that uh, everybody can see him. Um, and for you Facebookers, obviously, it's a little different, but I'm sharing all the things. Oh, I think he's here. So the original architect here, I'm being told, would sit and literally create these buildings like a painting. He'd sit here and plan them out and he'd even pick the different tile colors for the roofs and where each tile would go. That's how amazing this campus is and special. It's just very uniquely made and absolutely stunning. And obviously probably part of the reason Oh, it's the church bells. My grandpa was so in love with it. This is way too cool. Wow. sit out here and paint the buildings that he painted to life. <laughs> Even down to the storm gutters. Look how amazing those are. Look at that chimney. I mean, everything is so beautifully done. It's just amazing. All right. They've turned me loose. <laughs> I have, I have passed uh, the clearance of not being a threat anymore. Look at this. National Historic Landmark. This site possessed national significance in collaboration. Comor, I cannot say that word. <laughs> The history of the United States of America. Oh my gosh, this church is beautiful. Okay, we're gonna go around this side though and see the bluff. And then and then we'll go see the church. It's amazing how someone can affect your life so much that 
things that were important to them somehow become important to you. Do you hear that? I think this college has some of the most amazing views if you had to argue it. <laughs> it is really hard not to be emotional right now. I'm trying so hard not to be a baby and just cry. <laughs> I don't know why it's so difficult. It's just absolutely beautiful. And I've always wanted to see it in real life. <laughs> I see it. So this is the man that made it all possible. Uh, He's the, the head of the art department down here and he pulled all the strings. So. I did, yeah. So I have, I have friends in high places. Eternally thankful. <laughs> <laughs> so great to make your dream come true. Yes, well not only that, but we're gonna share with everybody how beautiful this campus is and because okay. it's, it's a rare campus. It's not your average everyday college for sure. <laughs> Sylvester. Frederick Oak Sylvester. Right. One of the first art professors here, correct? And he, the first. The first, okay. From the start. He and here. he would paint these paintings from off the bluff. Just he like did. He, he was here Jim Green. <laughs> yeah, but he came here before they actually decided to move the campus here, and he's one of the main reasons the campus is here. That's amazing. And these markings, they're going to restore, do some restoration on this painting. That's so cool. Yeah. This apple orchard here was here probably, they believe, before the school, which means my grandpa probably saw this orchard as well and they keep it maintained and it looks beautiful. That's the prettiest apple orchard I've seen. <laughs> this is the Howard House, the female dorm. It's all co-ed now, but it used to be split up. This one is still no, just women's? Still all women's? Just women's still? So the interesting thing about Maybach is he made everything out of cement. So you see the mimic like the, the village the thatched roof and he formed the cement. And uh, you know, then he, again, he chose the tiles are obviously going to be round. Oh, look at the chimney, even. Yeah, and every chimney, every dormer is different. If you look at it, it's so cool. Yeah. This is Lilac Lane. Lilacs everywhere, so it smells beautiful and looks beautiful. All of the things he thought of everything. <laughs> Oh yeah? Yeah. So it's it's really amazing. Mm. Ooh, yeah. <laughs>
An amazing building. So I'm hoping we can get you into the uh, inner sanctum so you can see the. Oh building. my gosh. It's pretty amazing. Oh, that's so beautiful. These trees, man. <laughs> On top of it, isn't that just incredible? Yeah. Wow. These are just so full on right now. They are. <laughs> just that entryway. Look at that staircase over there. It's like going into a cat. Oh. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding? This is amazing. That is so beyond what I expected. <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. This is too fancy. Wow. Are they all like this? Well, this is the grandest, but all the Mabek uh, living rooms are quite beautiful. This form of concrete and beautiful fireplaces and yeah, they're pretty amazing. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. And you know, this is all making so much more sense now seeing it in person. Yeah. This is I think this is really beautiful, the stairway. Oh, it's incredible. I know that in the past they often had Official. I got to see the campus. Became a weepy mess, of course, but what an experience. And I got some amazing photos, and I can't wait now to myself paint that beautiful place. Ah, that was cool.